Let's take a look at which is worse, eating processed meats or smoking. You might be surprised. All right, Dr. Paul Hader, master herbalist for 34 years and getting people healthy. We have 1,200 videos here. Let's get the world healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're going to get the world healthy. Well, today I want to talk about which is worse, eating processed meats, you know, like ham and bacon and all the things with nitrates in them and all kinds of stuff, or smoking, which we have covered before. So let's get into it right now. First of all, smoking. There is a four-star association, which is the highest possible with COPD. Uh, causing lung problems absolutely positively. And Three Star Association with, you know, breast cancer and bladder cancer, uh, also uh, tuberculosis and esophageal cancer, cervical cancer, even MS. Very interesting. Even cancer and uh, strokes and type 2 diabetes and cataracts are connected to smoking. And also, smoking is connected to Alzheimer's and dementia and gallbladder disease and atrial fibrillation and lip and oral cancers and on and on and on. And also, the British Medical Journal just came out with a study showing that there was an increase of 32 terrible things that happen when you eat processed food, including processed meats, including... Uh, heart disease and depression and type 2 diabetes and all, all causes of mortality. Another study that actually was put out this year in Lancet, which is the most prestigious medical journal in the United States, showed that there was an association between 30 different uh, medical problems, including all types of cancer, including breast cancer and colorectal cancer. Uh, very interesting with processed foods, including um, processed meats. And if you drink and smoke and eat processed foods, more than likely you're going to be making your life end in your 30s, really. And people who drink a lot and smoke a lot, that's what happens. Here is what I recommend to add at least 10 to 30 years to your life. Stop eating all processed meat and processed food and red meat and animal products in general. Stop eating dairy and stop eating eggs. Stop smoking. Stop drinking alcohol. And eat lots of fruits and vegetables, grains, whole grains, and beans and lots of greens and lots of vegetables, raw vegetables. Also drink lots of water. Exercise daily. And also de-stress with meditation and mindfulness and on and on and also get a good water filter for your your kitchen too which is important but there you have it which is worse it's pretty much a toss-up uh i would say the uh, actually the processed food to the highly processed you know bacon and that type of thing uh and ham and things with lots of nitrates in them really are not good lots and lots of cancer and being and little kids right now, little kids coming down with colorectal and colon cancer, it's gone up 500 percent. Also, uh, you know, teenagers. I just talked about this last week. One out of three teenagers in high school already has pre-diabetes, and by the time they graduate, they're on metformin or something. This is not good. We really got to change our diet and change our lifestyle. We can do it. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I have a man right now with uh, three years into dementia, and we are going to turn around his dementia completely. I I just know it. I feel it in my heart. We're going to throw, turn this around. His wife is with me, and she wants to make this happen, and we're going to make it happen. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And Dr. Joe Dispenza did a great study teaching people to go into a certain type of meditation. And then they took some blood for them and 
from them and actually uh, expose them to certain types of viruses. And they found that a particular enzyme that was given off while they were doing meditation prevented the viruses from going into the cell and replicating and spreading the virus to the rest of their body. Wow. So, you know, meditation, which has been talked about for thousands of years, does have physical changes in our body. I love you.